Ben Robinson, I'm here from the Youth Fight for Jobs campaign. We're here because we think the government is protecting the bosses, protecting big business and making ordinary people pay for their greed. What we're here at the G20 to do is to say that we don't think it's right that we should pay for the crisis that's created in the boardrooms, that's created by the politicians, by the bankers. And they're trying to make us pay ordinary working class people, young people, losing their jobs, ending up on lower conditions, paying high the university fees. We're organising a fight back. No way! Talk of peace! No way! Talk of peace! No way! Campaigns of aggressive uh, campaign on a basis that we're not anti-European worker. In fact, what we're for is worldwide workers, but we're against the European Union structure, which supports big business and global capital to make bigger profits at the expense of working people. And that's the reason why that uh, we believe the three main political parties, both New Labour, Liberals, and Tories, are all carrying out the same policies. They all support a European super state. They all support the European court judgments against us, they all support privatisation. And it's either going to be a vote for them or a vote for BNP. And we're saying vote for us as a progressive way of supporting workers throughout the length and breadth of Europe. Not just Europe, but throughout the world. And the, um, the march itself, particularly the trade union sections, and I've just come off the, uh, the RMT section, and we're calling for complete opposition to the... Uh, pro-capitalist policies and neoliberal policies adopted and it will be adopted by the G20 leaders in the next few days. No three of you, yes the democracy is marching to stop the European Union privatising all our public services. You see the post office being privatised under an EU directive, our railways are privatised under an EU directive and the Lisbon Treaty, if it comes into force, will give the European Union the powers to privatise all our public services including health and education <laughs> and that can't be allowed to happen because the people don't want it and no one voted for it. And it's clear that what's needed now is, is for the unions and the workers to fight against the rising tide of unemployment. And that means issues like nationalising companies that are threatening unemployment, not just the banking system, but definitely nationalise that. And above all, internationally we campaign for the socialist world order and the socialist plan of production. Well, we're supporting this campaign, no to be you, ready for the European elections on June the 4th. The EU is all about privatisation, about driving wages and living standards down, driving things down. What we want is the sort of workers' Europe where working people fight together to get the best in Europe, not the worst, which is all the EU offices. Well today's demonstration is just a start. We want to show to the leaders of the G20 how angry we are about this capitalist crisis and to say that we're not prepared to pay the price for that. Millions of people have been thrown out of work, more than 2 million now in Britain. The World Bank has said that 90 million people are going to be thrown into absolute poverty as a result of this crisis. And we're not prepared to accept that. That's why we're marching today. Of course people are angry, but the most effective way of stopping what's happening, what's happening to ordinary working class people, is not violence, but mass protest. Today's just a start. We'd say we should go on and have a 24 hour general strike for all the trade unions in this country, and that will do a lot more than rioting to make, uh, to, to force the government to do things in the interest of the working class people. Jump! You fight! Ball 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 jump! You fight! 
Jump Scares Fight! Fight!